Behind the scenes of a movie, scandals and off-screen romances are not unheard of. So neither are cursed movie sets and cat fights between co-stars. What went on behind the scenes of the Singapore indie flick The Insomniac? Now that's a question the director and the lead cast members of the film are here to answer. So we're going to find out more about that. So guys, were there any cat fights or scandals on set? Where do you start first? Scandals? Yeah, scandals. Oh. Juicy scandals. Actually, before, I, before we started shooting this film, mm. I thought, okay, I'm doing a feature film, there's going to be like scandals and off-screen romance. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm really excited about it. You're this. anticipating that, yes, is it? But <laughs> Once we started shooting, nothing happened, and I was just oh. so. That's one of the low points. <laughs> You're sad about it. I'm concerned. <laughs> I mean, I was half asleep half the time because all our shoots were at night. Uh huh. So I was like, sometimes I didn't have a second. So romantic. On. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the shooting was perfect. It's at night. Feature film, you know, off screen. Uh huh. Night, but that's it. I mean, nothing happened. Okay, you were hoping for something romantic. It was, with. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> The characters, I think, you know, the old man and the lady in the uh -huh. robe got along very well. Uh -huh. They would find the little corner, sit down and chat. So. Okay. <laughs> Nothing scandalous, though. <laughs> Nothing scandalous. Nothing scandalous. And director, what about you? Yeah, definitely no scandals because there's definitely no time for any kind of scandal, really. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think there were some really interesting creative differences that sort of came up which helped hey. the project get a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, where, I mean, everybody has an opinion. And we were channeling it towards achieving the best, you know, say, camera position in a scene. Mm -hmm. Or the best way to even achieve a scene because there were multiple angles that we shot. We had just one camera. So we had to position that thing really, really fast and get the best out of it in, say, a running sequence. So, uh, for instance, yeah, there was a big discussion about where we should start and how we should go about it uh, and how to light that most efficiently. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, those sort of things, I mean, I learned a lot from our very experienced director of photography, uh, Mr. K.M. Lowe. Um, that, that guy knows exactly what he's doing and he's really good. So we learned a lot from him and argued with him a lot, gave him a hard time. So if you want to call that a scandal, then yeah, maybe, but not really. Okay, okay. no scandals, no cat fights. So actually there must be disputes because all of you come from like different cultural backgrounds, right? The whole crew. Yeah, yep. so how, how do you like, are there any disputes that arise because of the differences in culture? No, I think we, were, we worked mm -hmm. really well together in terms of uh, harmony on the set. There was absolutely nothing uh, cultural about it. I think we yeah. all we all came from this like-minded, let's make a film yeah. culture. Mm -hmm. So that sort of surpassed everything else. Okay, and from what I understand, the backdrop of the film was uh, the old Changi Hospital. Uh, yeah, right? actually that was a, that was a day shoot, but it mm -hmm. lasted for the entire day pretty much. Did anything weird happen on set? Mm. Uh, it actually happened. We shot another short film <laughs> there earlier, which I went for alone, mm -hmm. and that's when something weird happened at the oh, old Changi Hospital. What happened? Uh, well, it's just uh, <laughs> maybe it was just the stories that I'd heard, and everything started playing together in my mind, and I was just walking around alone with this camera trying to shoot some scenes, mm -hmm. um, and I felt something a little weird, and uh, I called these guys immediately and said, "Why didn't you come here with me? I'm freaking out," and I ran. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I feel like a pansy now. But uh, to, to prove it to myself that, you mm -hmm. know, there was nothing really there, we went back and we shot scenes for the insomniac over there. Uh, but I took two people with me. Um, you can cut <laughs> that out. But, yeah. Okay. And it's starting to get a little messed up in real life too, hey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, as yeah. a director, why did you choose that place? Was it because you wanted to prove that, oh, you were not scared, or was it for another reason? Um, no, definitely it was for a very spe special, specific reason. Um, we'd been there before and we had scoped out the area. And by far in Singapore, I haven't found any place which is in that state of ruin um, or has been allowed to go to that state of ruin. And we sort of needed that for this film to illustrate the character's state of mind where he's, you know, in this mental descent. And one of his, um, I wouldn't call it an apparition, but versions of himself finds himself walking around helplessly mm -hmm. in that kind of a place. So the old Changi Hospital was perfect for that. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for sharing with us all those juicy bits. Yeah, it yeah. seems like you put in a lot of effort and contributed much to the production of The Insomniac. Yes, but um, is there a reason for the theme of the movie and does life imitate art? Well, the answers are in all in our next video, so stay with us.